My name is J.D. Baker, and I'm proud to serve my community in numerous ways. I think it's so important for us as black Americans to get vaccinated. It gives us a fighting chance. Now, we've experienced so much in our <laughs> 400 years on this continent, and we have so much more to still fight for, and that's very evident, and we saw that last summer. There's so much more for us to fight for. And for me, it's just important, let's not let a virus stop us, stop our leaders of, of our movements so we can live to work and fight another day for a mu much more just and equitable society. And that includes in all the areas, whether it's business, whether it is in medicine and the medical advances that we need, whether it is in, in, um, in the entertainment industry, whether it's in um, our economy, whether it's in the criminal justice reform, we have to live to fight another day. And so to me, it's just important that we take this vaccine um, so we can live to fight another day. This virus has put us at war, put our whole world at war. And if we want to live to fight another day, we have to put on some armor. We have to equip ourselves with some weaponry. And that is what the vaccine is. This vaccine is our armor to protect us from getting this. And it's our weaponry to protect us from giving it to others. So we need to protect ourselves so we can protect others if we want to live to fight another day. We want to live for our families, our children, our grandparents, our parents, our nieces and nephews. Seriously, I mean, it, to me it's so important. I want to see my nieces and nephews and, and family members, I want to see them grow up and thrive and, and be healthy and happy. I want to continue to spend much, as much more life with my grandparents and parents as, a, as what we have. I can't stand the thought of my parents having to bury their child. That eats me up inside. And so, if I have an opportunity to protect me and to protect them, then I'm gonna take it. We're, yes, we only have one life to live, and so we can't neglect that. This vaccine is just another helmet, it's just another seatbelt, <laughs> it's just another armor that as we're in this war and at risk, that we can protect ourselves and protect our families and our community.